Mike fucked up in the last video again. My bad, but we got new Mario for 2 gameplay. Let's talk about it. Now, before I say anything, this is all campaign gameplay. I mean, obviously, they're, they're talking about the AI, but it's still it's still a better look at, like, how everything is going, I guess. This guy's the GOAT, by the way. This guy made all the reload animations and stuff. Well, not all of them, but, like, most of them. Like, in Mario for 2019. Here's some new gameplay. Now, if you if you look very closely, you can see tax sprint has not gone away. It's still very clearly here. Another thing is, I don't know if it's just because like they're playing on absolute lowest settings or some shit, but like it, it looks kind of unfinished. But I think this is like really early like footage, like back when they like just finished the AI. As you can see, it's all mocap, of course. The gameplay for this mission looks real good though. Look at that. I will admit though, I feel like the Twitter compression kind of ruins it. I don't know why these things are glowing. Yeah, this part also looks pretty unfinished, but I mean, again, we haven't seen this yet. I'm pretty sure these are just like dev levels, though. I'm like low-key convinced these aren't like actually part of the campaign. Although what I will say, it doesn't help that they have motion blur on. Because like most people who like actively like go all out on Call of Duty aren't going to use motion blur. They're going to turn that off. Here's the classic trailer. I haven't seen this part, though. What the fuck? They have not shown this yet. Wait, that was the trailer. God, I have my mic isn't like fucked again. It was really bad last video. Also, I'm pretty sure my desktop audio wasn't selected. I'm not gonna re-record. I, I, it should work now. If you didn't hear anything, my bad. All right, I haven't touched this game in like forever, which kind of sucks because I'm trying to go for camos. I'm still stuck on the these the UAV camos. Like oddly enough, the most annoying ones because I just don't want to bother with Nuketown. The hell is this thing, dude? I'm telling you, you're running to someone with this calling card almost like every ten games. I can't really blame them. Watch, there's gonna be someone here with that calling card. Never mind, I baited myself. I don't have much else to really say. I mean, about tax sprint, I, I, I don't really like tax sprint the more I think about it. Like, it's not something like I actively despise. Like I have so many other things that I'd rather have before tax sprint, like getting removed. It definitely ruins like the flow of like the gameplay, like the maps. It's also just like annoying to have to like constantly like push down and shit. Like that's not good for your fingers. Especially when you're playing Claw, which I'm not, but many people do. Now, you could just say enable auto attack sprint. And that's like a pretty good solution if the Call of Duty League hadn't G8'd it for some godforsaken reason. I don't understand that. I low-key slept on the tactical rifles. I thought they were going to be like ass and just like completely boring. But these things like absolutely shred. That being said, it is annoying to just like repeatedly press down on the thing. I know like most people have like smart triggers and shun the like scuff controls or whatever. But I don't have that. I have to like fully push down on like the trigger on my xbox controller which i mean you could just say just push down on it halfway but like then it doesn't always register for some reason i, I literally have to like i have to do this every time and even though it's not 100 percent sometimes my finger just like gives out can i just get the field mic ready so con next in six days i'm excited still not sure if i'll have a playstation for the first weekend with the beta i've kind of come to terms with that i'm okay with it now i'll probably just like talk about it as an observer i'll make sure to no life it for weekend two though also i feel like a lot of people like i used to be like this too i was just thinking like it's gonna have to be like as good as modern warfare 2 but the reality is this is just a sequel to the original modern warfare it's not gonna be modern warfare 2 it's gonna be modern warfare True. They're still gonna have like all sorts of bullshit in it. But, like, you just gotta hope that they learn from their mistakes. How did I get that kill? What the fuck would I do? Oh, I put down the fuel mic. Oh shit. I, I completely forgot. All right, I need like 24, dude. I am so far behind. Ah, we're gonna stop recording this and not even like immediately go to editing. I'm just gonna like play until I get the camo. What the fuck? You're proning with a sniper? Where the fuck are you? Did you leave? Did you die? No way you died. You wouldn't die to someone, would you? Oh my god, what an idiot. Wait, why is it so slow? Oh yeah, I forgot. I accidentally removed all the attachments from it, so now it's like garbage. Oh no. I feel like the best way to go into Modern Warfare 2 though is like cautious optimism. Like I feel like it's gonna be better than Modern Warfare 2018. There's no doubt about it. But like, it's not gonna, it's likely not gonna meet the expectations of all like the, like the old heads. You'll never survive the lobbies. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing, by the way. Not even just because it's, like, stupid. Because, like, yeah, thank God this in the past. Why the fuck would we want that now? Like, the other thing is, like, the lobbies have not changed. I'm serious. Play Vanguard Search and Destroy. Like, play for, like, two hours. Eventually, you'll find one of those lobbies. It's how Call of Duty has always been. Stop lying to yourself. Yeah, that's the new Modern Warfare 2 Intel drop. Looks pretty cool. I can't wait.